Hey what's up guys it's Rich and welcome to a double nuclear, I finally got one, uh, as you can see I was using the scar at the start but I put it away after I captured the B flag, I just needed a weapon that was able to kill someone more than you know 10 yards away as I was capturing that flag and I'm pretty sure I forget it for the rest of this streak, I don't even put it out once, I just use the Remington and a few C4s along the way, so as I said this is going to be a double nuclear, it's actually the first one that I've ever gotten on Black Ops 2, I came, I've Oh god, just thinking about it just makes me angry. I've came painstakingly close a fair few times where, you know, I think the closest one I got was on Studio, which is actually a DLC map, and it was like the second day the DLC maps were out, and I got a, you know, and I failed the nuclear in the first half, I was either one or two kills off, and I died to a lightning strike, so the amount of VSATs and EMPs I was putting in the air, my teammates couldn't get enough kills to stop the enemies from getting a lightning strike and I'm pretty sure I was the only person to die to it as well so I felt short then because I died one off and then I got a nuclear afterwards uh, but in this gameplay I managed to get a nuclear in the first half and then a nuclear in the second half as well and uh, I'm actually using the R870 which is a shotgun of course and the R870 is one of those things where you hate dying to it but it's quite fun to use at the same time it's the exact same as C4 and I put this in a comment yesterday someone asked me on my shotgun uh, streak video where I got like kill chains and whatnot with the R870 someone said so you hate dying to R870s but you use it yourself and pretty much yes it's extremely frustrating to die to an R870 just because it's a one shot kill and you don't feel like you've got any sort of chance once you've died to it it's the same as dying to a sniper or like an RPG or something it's like you didn't even have a chance and you just you know sort of blew up or uh, died in one shot so it is a lot of fun to use though and I've always enjoyed using shotguns I tried to get as many shotgun mobs as I could back in Modern Warfare 3 and I did get a fair few I got one to the model, I got one to the AA-12, I got one to the SPAS, the KSG uh, I did live shotgun mobs as well so it's quite fun to go back to uh, what I used to do in the older Call of Duties and try out the R870 and if you watch my Road to Commander I spent half of the time in that Road to Commander complaining about the R870 and how mine never kills anyone uh, but I always died to them in one shot and I've kind of found out the secret of the R870 I got a load of comments saying Rich you need to zoom in with the R870 so I said okay then I'll put on quick draw which makes it obviously a little bit easier to zoom in because you don't have to wait as long for it to get into the zoomed in state I guess or the ADS state and quick draw and long barrel are my go to attachments with this weapon they are incredible and that first nuclear by the way was around 2 minutes and 30 seconds which is pretty quick uh, to get 30 gun kills in a row if you consider uh, how you have to play to get 30 kills in two and a half minutes that's a pretty quick nuclear so hopefully uh, that was pretty enjoyable the next one is a little bit longer i think it's around you know just over three minutes so it's still quick but i think i was playing a little bit more defensively uh, and there was a few less people in here as well uh, as well because they just backed out at half time and half time always does that people just back out at half time i don't know why they don't back out beforehand Maybe it's because they're like, oh, it's half time, let's check the scoreboard. Oh, I'm 2 and 13, this guy's got 60 kills, let's back out, and everyone does that. But it's kind of frustrating, but you know, it, it, it happens to everyone, so you can't really complain. And uh, I can't really complain as well because it's a double nuclear, and I finally, finally managed to get one. So the class that I'm using, I'm using the C4 uh, as like a range attack. Uh, usually, you know, I would recommend having like a, a 5.7 or something as a, a secondary that's quite good at medium to long range and um, whatnot but in this gameplay instead of going for that secondary I opted for the concussion grenade just because they always seem to congregate at their spawn and it's a, it's a lot easier just to throw a stun grenade in maybe throw a C4 in and then just rush in with your shotgun than it is to try and pick them off with like a pistol or something so that doesn't really work so I'm using the concussion grenade the C4 I believe lightweight hardline the R870 of course with quick draw and uh, what's it called? Long barrel. I'm not using toughness for the first time in forever just because if you're getting shot you can just one shot people anyway it's not as if you need to keep your aim steady. It does come in handy because sometimes your aim just like gets knocked off above their head and you completely miss but it's not as handy as if you were using like a submachine gun or whatnot. So I took that off, I was using scavengers to replenish on the C4s and I was also using I believe dexterity maybe, I don't know but uh, that's pretty much the class loadout uh, in fact, I'm going to try and do my best to put the class loader in the top right, just to so uh, just to show you the exact class that I was using, rather than just trying to guess at a few perks. I'm pretty sure that was the exact class, except for the third perk. I don't know if I was using dexterity or not. And this is where the uh, the street gets a little bit crazy. They start coming out of their spawn. I lose my spot in their spawn house. Is what I'm going to call it. Uh, the the spawn house, I guess, is the new name for that. Now I've created it, and uh, I just rush in. You can see everyone is around this area, and I just rush in straight away. 
uh, pretty much ignoring everyone else, just trying to get in his house because it's all close quarters and you should win pretty much every gunfight that you are entered in in this house. And uh, the same goes for the other house as well, you may have seen me try and get a few kills there. And this is where it kind of got a little bit annoying because they, they kind of sat back and then I tried to challenge for some stupid reason and I nearly died, which was ridiculous. If I would have died there challenging that gunfight, I probably would have just kicked myself or punched myself in the face because that would have been ridiculous to die to. But this streak is coming to an end. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this double nuclear on Nooktank. My first ever double nuclear and hopefully now I'll be able to get a few more because it tends to be the way with me. If I'm struggling to get something like the Nooktank title that took me a while to get, if I'm struggling to get something like that, if I get it, then I you know lose all the pressure and I get a few more in the next day. Uh, the next few days whatever so hopefully i'll be able to pull out um, a few more double nuclears in the next week or so uh, for you guys to enjoy and this is the nuclear kill here in a second there is the second nuclear popping up on the screen and i'm just going to show you the final scoreboard i think i get like 91 kills non-lethal or something or that may have been a different game because i played this a few times and uh, that's pretty much the game so guys if you enjoyed it i'd appreciate a like rating 82 and 8 with 12,000 score and i'll just show you the end six unstoppables with two nuclears thanks for watching guys i will speak to you all tomorrow with another video. Bye.